What's up, guys? It's Deedzy. Courtney is dead. And today we're bringing you episode 39 of Dead Frontier. So as you can see, oh, I don't want any truffles. Get out of here. So as you can see, we're in the hospital just searching for some loot as per usual. And I'm almost leveled up. Sorry, I thought I was about to cough there. <coughs> there it is. Yeah. Just my heads up. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so, sorry, so I almost am leveled up, and I'm pretty excited because I believe if I level up one more time, I, uh, will be able to get a new grenade launcher with three bullets instead of one, or three ammo capacity, rather. So you know how you were talking about, in the previous episode, uh, the shotgun and how it's annoying that you only have three bullets? Yeah. I'm suffering the same the shitty fate launcher? with the grenade launcher. Yeah. Where after each shot, I have to... Oh, sorry guys. Spaced out there. After each shot, I have to reload instead of just being able to shoot a couple shots and then reload, which would be nice. You guys all in that room seem quite upset, and I wish you weren't. Oh, there's friggin' Pan's Labyrinth there. Get out of here. It is. I had to watch it. I had to watch it twice because I didn't really. I fell asleep the first time. I'm not it was gonna lie. A lot of reading. It was a lot of reading, and I watched it really late at night, and I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't paying super great attention probably because of the subtitles, but I feel like I'd probably. Solid movie, guys. Just saying. Wasn't that, uh. I was going to say Benicio del Toro, but isn't it Guillermo del Toro? Del I Toro? So, yeah. It does those creepy movies. Isn't it set during the war too? Run me through that yeah. movie. I can't even remember now. Like what is about a little girl? Uh, a little girl moves into like some weird state with her mother. Okay. I'm her slowly mother's boyfriend, I believe. And she's she in... like goes out into the labyrinth and gets lost in these like magical places. Basically. For a lack of better words, very shitty and brief. It didn't sound shitty at all. It sounded super cool. I just remember it was set during the war, and I remember some guy being a super huge dink that dated her mom. And they yeah, moved into a house. he's a military guy, and um, the, the mom's with him. They live on, like, a base or something. Like, I don't know. It's something weird. Regards, it's a good movie. You know what? Just random side note, guys, while we're sitting here trying to loot for some good items. Um, The other, the other day, today I saw that I kind of want to watch soon as The Hitcher. We went on a truck. I was there a truck. Oh, you mean the old one? I mean the old one. Oh, okay. I was about to say we're on a truck driving binge thing, but not really. We watched, what was the Joyride? We watched Joyride. I wouldn't yeah. say that the truck driving. I know, I know. But Hitcher was a good one, too. Joyride, though. Check the first one out. Good movie, guys. Oh, I just took that siren out. Oh, that was close. Right Mika pup. I know. I'm killing zombies. I know. It's a, it's it's upsetting. Stressful. I got them all though. Don't worry. Turn on my light on my keyboard here, guys. So far, nothing super, super awesome. Just truffles. I'm not taking caviar. Get out of here with your caviar. I'll take truffles. That's my golden rule. As I say that, I some truffles pop up. Of course they did. Of course they did. You better to the bone, ain't you, Tyrone? I did the face there and everything. Get out of here. Why are you upset? You can take a seat. Keep giving me steroids, and that's not what I want. Nothing good. All right. Well, we got one more hallway to check here, guys. Run down here. Take out these uh, bulimic zombies. <laughs> I call them that because they eat brains and then puke. 
Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that one. I blew up a fatty and then a rumbler, and then another rumbler ran through his mist. What is with the steroids? They just can't get enough of them. I want to give them all to me. Sure, we'll take some grenades. Why not? Surfing noise, guys. I'm just doing a painting. That's pretty useful. Yeah, and again, guys, we'll leave a link for the Hippie Thug artwork. Check it out. Custom artwork. You guys can also, if you have Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Court is dead. I post a lot of my paintings on there, guys. There you go. We'll have to put a link to your Instagram as well. Oh, there we go. I found a sick 550. Now I we're talking. don't know if that's super awesome, but at least it's something. something. At least it's a something. At least it's a something. At least it's not useless or whatever else pops up when I'm doing this. And what I like about this, guys, is I came into the hospital and that door was randomly boarded. So I only have to board one. <clears throat> entrance slash exit, so I'm super excited about that. Ooh, minimal boarding. Minimal boarding. Alright, give me one quick second. Right, Sorry about that, folks. Oh, look at all these weird <coughs> spots right here, right on. Nothing I can use. It literally pops up. Thanks. Appreciate it. Spectacular. Dry truffles. Sure, why not? Taking all of them so I can cook them. Holy wow. Quite a smorgasbord of uh, enemies there. Sure, why not? I'll take that ammo as well. 89. Can I break the 90? Oh, wouldn't that be nice, folks? Hey, you glitching through the wall. Oh, leave me alone. Don't start with the aggro. Don't start with the aggro. Don't be like that. Don't you do this to me. See if I can see there's a siren. I hope not. Why you guys just gotta come near me? I don't understand. Just leave me alone. Just go do your own thing. I wouldn't shoot any of you if you didn't come near me. Actually, that's a lie. I want the experience. I'd shoot all of you. <laughs> None of you stand a chance. Yeah, none of you would survive. See, I can see you getting mad, and I don't know why I didn't do anything to you. You're just on the other side of the wall there, and you just get pissed because you hate walls, I guess? I don't know. Get your shit together, yo. Now's not the time to be fighting with walls. Probably not really ever a good time for that. I feel like the wall would win a lot of the time. You know what I mean? Well, it's not going to put up a whole lot of arguments, so I guess it's perspective. It's not going to put up facts. Okay, let me put you, let me put you. It's either a great listener or nothing gets through to it. I don't really know. <laughs> Again, perspective. I like that. It's either a great listener or you can't get through to it. Alright. Not having a whole lot of luck. Well, I guess I can't complain. I got that assault rifle. I'm sitting there already going, oh, I'm not having a lot of luck. Beggars can't be choosers. Yes, they can. <laughs> want to be. I don't want your change. Give me heroin money. <laughs> Picky 
five. That's a terrible joke about baggers doing drugs, and I apologize, folks. Like, just somewhat. Well, good. I'm glad you enjoyed my sense of humor. I hope some of the folks at home do as well. Oh, no, I'm out of bullets. Not really. Just psych. Psych. You're too close, man. Finally reached the 90. Hang right on. See what else we can find. I don't want caviar. Yeah. Looks like there's a little, tons of them in the next room there, so that'll be fun. And I think two more floors to go. Two floors. Woo! Two floors. Oh, that's unfortunate. The spider was glitched through the wall there, and then I just walked up and shot him. Sucks to be you. Sucks to suck, yo. Oh, fine. I'll take a whiskey. It's been popping up enough. Who doesn't need a good whiskey now, man? Okay, this bloater is taking way too many shots. That was just ridiculous. Right on! 280 bullets that I use. So good! That's a lot of zombie kills. That is a lot of zombie kills. Good point, babe. Thinking about it as bullets just flying into zombies' faces. That's 280 more zombies I can shoot in the head. Well, if you think about it, that's the ammo you brought that you're saving for X amount of zombies you kill. Good point. Oh, two, two, two. I don't want the shotgun shells. I don't really need them right now. I'm not using a shotgun. I will take those grenades, though. I know on our other accounts, we're using shotguns. Um, and then eventually, like, when we get up here, that's just, like, you just get those all the time. Like, they're super, super easy to find. That'd be nice. I know. Alrighty, folks. Let's check the third floor here. See what we got going on. All right, enough with the steroids. I get it. You guys are pumping those things out. You're recommending them. Oh, peer pressure. I know, eh? Like every other every other corner. You want some steroids? Are you sure you don't want steroids? I could give you some steroids if you wanted some steroids. You found a trench coat. Well, I don't really want that right now. Go with your steroids. A trench coat to go with your steroids. Guys that wear trench coats do steroids, apparently. Apparently they go hand in hand. I was literally going to say that. That's just a... Uh, oh, leave me alone, dogs. Who left the dogs out? I don't know, but I don't appreciate them doing it. Who? Who did it? Who? Oh, that's why. Oh. You found who let, let them out? I did, but I just shot a uh, bloater and blew up and I didn't want him to. Fabulous. Yeah, sorry. I spaced out there, guys. That was a siren, and I didn't really particularly enjoy that. I hate the sirens. I'm sure everybody does. I really should just be running into the room, check quick, see if there's a siren, and shoot her right in the teeth. And I know that sounded really gruesome, but that's how much I hate sirens, guys. I had to get really graphic on that.
luckily on our other characters, we haven't come up against them yet because I can't stand them. Holy, they're really being sparse with these grenade hand dudes. The biggest one I got was 74, then it was 13. Like, this is just. You guys don't want me to have a stack of grenades. I get it. No grenades. No grenades for me. Oh, reactive XT800. Right on. So sometimes that implant pays off and I get some armor and some weapons. $836. Every time I find money, I'm finding like 800 bucks. It's awesome. Oh, you almost got me there, dog. And I don't mean dog like a homie. I mean dog like an actual hell homie that right? almost got me. Homie. Homie? Alright, let's see here. No, I don't want those 12 gauge shells. up right now because I don't really think I need them. Sure, I'll take another whiskey. Why not? Whiskey for my men, beer for the horses. Oh, if I find steroids one more time, I'm just going to, I'm taking them. Oh, what an excellent shot. I just hit that siren in the corner. Beautiful. Didn't even have to friggin' run up on her or anything. Just out like a light. Da, na, 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 na. Oh, friggin' steroids again. See, I'm finding all these steroids, and I guess it would have been helpful to pick up that trench coat so I could have put all the steroids in there. They want me to be a trench coated steroid dealer. Six seventy four. All right, let's go here. Let's go with some. Not oh, sure. I'll take it. I use that ammo. Yeah, I know I didn't find anything because it didn't pop up on my screen. You know, an XM8, another assault rifle. Right on. At least it's scrap money. Dry truffles. Sure, I'll take some. Why not? Worst case, Ontario, <clears throat> I will eat them. Run down here, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the last floor here. I've been playing long enough. This is the last floor. I'm confident. Floor, floor four. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Got it. Rumblers, no rumbling. No, I don't want the whiskey. Uh, 
broken beyond repair. Well, you didn't even tell me what it was. How do you know I couldn't repair it? Maybe I'm a wizard repairing them. Fact. Like, I just specialize in repairing stuff. Maybe I'm an engineer. Like, you can be in this game, and I could have repaired that. You don't know. Maybe it's like a toaster or something, and you just happen to work at the fucking tractor and the engine. <laughs> You're an expert on toasters. It's like we could have had toast. It's the end of the world, bro. That could have been a valuable commodity that we could have traded for ammunition. Toast. Toast. How many toast boxes? for guns. Exactly. Oh, man, we got a lot of guns, but we don't have any toast. I could be your hookup. Come on, we don't have any toast. <laughs> Does it come with butter? No. No, oh, good point, eh? We just got dry toast. <laughs> <laughs> no butter. We'll have to save some, make sure the livestock are safe. So we can have butter on our toast at the end of the world. Oh, no, I don't want any steroids. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. You sure? Positive. How positive? Like, 100% positive? I'm like 75% positive I don't want steroids. Well, are you sure you don't want some steroids? Because <laughs> they're going to keep asking. Might as well take this opportunity to bring up my inventory quickly here and eat some truffles and see how much space I have left. Or if I even need to eat any truffles. Mm, space truffles. I mean, space and truffles. Space truffles! Alright, let's see here, guys. Oh, I might have a couple more spaces left. So, not end game items, but again, just scrap, really. I'm not hungry, eh? Well, sure you are. Get it into you. Good thing I'm going to keep all these truffles. Alright. We'll go down here and see what they got going on in this room. You hate it. You can't get to me because there's a chair there, and then I just got you. These guys love giving away the truffles. Holy. Oh my goodness, the roids. The roids is back in town. Roids is back in town. You leave me alone, ugly spider. No time for your foolery. Oh, apparently I have some aggro here. Ooh, aggro. Ooh, aggro. Fact, I'll oh, get out of here. Leave me alone. Oh, now I'm stuck between this table. Alright, looks like we're going to have to clear some of this aggro out here, guys.
so it'll be at this moment here. We'll be back. We'll be back in a bit, guys. All right, guys, and we're back. We're gonna bring up the inventory. So that was literally ten minutes of just nothing but shooting a grenade over the wall to lower the aggro, <clears throat> so I can hopefully get out of this hospital. Again, that will be the benefit of having to actually shoot three grenades instead of one. I'll be super pumped about that. We're gonna go ahead and eat that. Might as well switch out the armor. Sure, why not? There we go, guys. All right, let's see if we can just leave now. Because that was unnecessary. Of course we can. Why couldn't we? All right, guys, and like I said, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to board up this exit and then save the experience, drop off anything I have, and continue on into the inner city. There we go, guys. Enter outpost mode. So close to leveling up here, guys. So close. What have we got in the old storage? Bare bones, as I say. I think I've emptied most of it. Throw some stuff we don't need in there. We'll have to find planks out on our journey. Alright guys, well, I'm back out there. I'm going to grab some more supplies. And we'll see you guys out there in the inner city. That has been episode 39. This has been Deedzy. Dead, thanks for tuning in, guys. And don't forget, peace, love. And check us out on Instagram, Facebook. We'll leave links in the description, guys.